Welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. He's out to the 30. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Freeman is a guy, Kirk, that is so versatile. I mean, he can uh, be inside, outside. He can jump over the top of you when you get down in the red zone. And I think that's that, what one thing this offense has done is they've taken advantage of his versatility because they move him around. It's hard for the defense to really identify where he is. Is he in the slot? Is he over to the right? Is he to the left? Is he to the outside, to the inside? And because they move him around so much, it makes it very tough to really identify him and to be able to match up and get that double coverage on him. Wouldn't want to be a defensive back against this guy. From their own 44-yard line, it's first down. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. That makes it second and eight. out of bounds. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. From the 34-yard line, first down. He's got the corner. He's at the 20. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 11. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? Well, this offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. From the 11-yard line, first down. Now he tries to buy some time. He keeps it, and they're in. Touchdown. A defense let the quarterback scramble in for the score. The defense had the offense beat there initially. It took a great run to get that in. And he tacks on the extra point. A five-play, 67-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Gets out to about the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Going deep, lays it out there. Big catch there as they knock him out of bounds. yard line maybe a yard on the run by the tailback that makes it six minutes. 
Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36. Fires out to his wideout. He's tackled at the 10-yard line. down and 10 to go. Ball on the 10. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. three here. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. They line up to kick this one away. Ellison takes it to 14. Brought down at the 32-yard line. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Complete. He's got room. And down he goes at the 45-yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 45. Mike Ford, pick it up, guys. Pick it up. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That'll make it second and four. Right, 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 right. Four down, four down. 35, 35, watch 35. Mike Ford, Mike Ford, down. Knocked out of bounds at about the 45. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Got an opening. Gets out to around the 32. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. That brings him second and five. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 27. Mike Ford. Hey. Quick strike to the receiver. That's a great tackle at the 12. Here's the eighth play of the series. He's on the run. Nice run there. That makes it first and goal. Watch 35. 
An exciting first quarter comes to an end. Seven, three. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. And he's in the end zone. Touchdown. That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Felder looks ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Strike to his receiver, no good. He's unable to hit his receiver. He overthrew it. Yeah, and that's a throw he should make every single time. It's second and 10. Ball on their own 25. Going deep. And he went way up, and he's got the interception. Tackle around the 36-yard line. Well, that's exactly what this defensive coordinator wanted to see. Somebody come up with a big play. Right when it looked like this team might be able to get back in the game, they come up with a big interception and maintain the momentum here in the first half. From the 36-yard line, it's first down. And they got him for a loss. There's a strike complete. Schultz picks up only about two yards with that grab. That'll bring up third and eight. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 26. He rifles it to the left. He goes out of bounds at the 18-yard line. Brad, not only a huge interception to get the football back, but maybe have a chance to get back into this game, but this could really change momentum. You can see the players and how they're responding down there on the sideline about how excited they are to get the football back and have a chance to put points on the board. From their own 18-yard line, first down. He's out to the 30. He's to the 40. He's taken down right around the 50. What a huge run by the tailback. It's pretty obvious that this offensive line controlled the line of scrimmage that time. But did you see how this halfback eluded the defense? Let's see now how the defense responds to giving up the gain on the run. at the 40. He makes his way to about the 38. And he carries the ball for a nice game. They're about four yards away here on second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he's tackled right around the 36-yard line.
They'll bring him down at about the 23-yard line. From the 23-yard line, first down. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. He gets hit out of bounds at the 19-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. That makes it second and six. Inside the 10. And that sets them up for the first and goal. That makes it first and goal. First and goal from the three. They're knocking on the door. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. And he has it on the corner. And he tackles him hard at the one-yard line. Tenth play of the drive. Hand off, and he's met immediately. So here we go. It's third and goal from the two-yard line. the stop at the two-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Ellison takes it at the 16, and he's taken down at the 29-yard line. One of the nation's top talents really struggling in this one today. Freeman's big playability was supposed to be on display, and yet he's trying to find any kind of rhythm. And we've seen the team rally around him, though, and they got the lead here. Yeah, and Brad, this defense has done just a great job of being able to take him out of this game today. They've been able to really just limit his touches. And yet, for some reason, they still find themselves trailing in this game. I think it's a good example of how one player can alter a defensive game plan and really puts this defense in a position where they're going to have to make some adjustments here and try to put more pressure on this team and get the ball back to their own offense. Brought down around the 45-yard line. The offense calls a timeout. It's first and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. Scrambling around. And he's going to come up with a sack. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Wide receiver screenplay, and he's taken down at the 45. He's going to try and scramble. And he hits him hard at the 41. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. He sails it long. He goes up and gets it. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. 14-6. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. It's all about perspective. Everybody who loves offense loved that first half. Lots of big plays, 
explosive plays. Offense has really got into the rhythm. But then there's the responsible opposing view, finding all the things that went wrong on the defensive side. Yeah, it, it's twofold. You know, there's an offense and there's a defense. And at some point, I'm defensive glad, guys, I'm glad you've noticed that. Yeah, well, I didn't notice it in the first half, but <laughs> I no, wanted one side in the I'd, first half. I'd like to notice more of it in the second half. And, and it's it's as simple. When, when a wide receiver catches a slant at seven yards and takes it 70, there's a problem. Somebody needs to hit the guy. Somebody needs to be a little bit physical. Somebody needs to be willing to tackle the guy and bring him to the ground. Too many missed tackles, too many explosive plays. And if you play defense like that, you should probably look in behind you and say, I think I'm going to get the other guy in because he's got to be better than this guy to start. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He really got a hold of that kick. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. Only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense, as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He makes his way out to about the 35. That'll make it second and inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. And he's level at the 36. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And he shoved out of bounds at the 41-yard line. Well, we've got a new quarterback in there. You have to wonder not only how will he do, but what does this do to the starter's psyche? From their own 41-yard line, it's second down. He'll keep it on the ground again. And he is drilled at the 42-yard line. Turn it. Tackle at the 20 yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Got it to his man on the screen. He's tackled at about the 29-yard line. That brings up short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Roger, Roger. Mike four, Mike four. Luke 14, Luke 14. He's to the 40. Makes it out to about the 43. Those 10 yards look easy. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Here's an opening. To the 20, the 10. And he scores! Touchdown! Wow, he looked 
looked like a running back out there. And that's just what you want when you're calling the option. And he adds the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They'll make the sack. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Slings it, and down he goes at the 36-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 36. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it and the holes will start to open up. this one away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 34-yard line. Third down. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. A seven-yard pickup on the screen play. It's a well-designed play to the halfback, and it worked at least to get them a medium gain on the play. Poole is back deep to return the punt. Room around the corner. Fielded at the 19. And he's tackled at the 24. You know, going in at halftime, a tight ball game. Coming out here in the third quarter. We know both these coaches. And one guy is simmering right now. And the other guy's got his team simmering. Well, this offensive coordinator is recognized as one of the top in the business. And I think as we've seen the adjustments he made at halftime, it's allowed this offense to go out, execute that plan. And now all of a sudden, they've got a nice big lead. Tackle right around the 26-yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 26. Throws and it's incomplete. Got an opening. This is one of their special plays they like to call to keep the defense off balance. When you can get first downs in unconventional ways, you have the edge over your opponent. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 34. My four, my four, ten, ten. Now he tries to buy some time. They bring the quarterback down. Great job by the defense of getting after that 
that quarterback, and right now I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. So we're looking at another third down here. It's a fumble. The offense scoops it. Close one there. Maybe the ball carrier will try a little harder to secure the ball next time. So far, all the bounces have been going their way. Brock is the punter. made at midfield and this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play 21 6 Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. And off to the left. Three-yard gain by the running back. That'll make it second and seven. From the 47-yard line, second down. Steps out of bounds around the 43 yard line. That makes us three. Right, 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 right. Get out, get out. Mike eight. Mike eight. It's a good surge by the defense. They really disrupted the timing on that play and gave them no chance to get the first. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Fumble! Picks up the fumble. And they hit him in the backfield. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He's taken down at about the 31. First and 10. Ball on the 31-yard line. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. And he snags that one. And he's tackled around the 25-yard line. Schultz gains six yards with a short completion. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. some open field. They'll bring him down around the 17-yard line. Fires it out. And they make the stop just outside the goal line. That makes it first and goal. First down. First and goal here inside the five-yard line. 
Less than three minutes in the game. three times. If he had thrown three touchdowns, it'd be a nice day. Running for three is also nice, but it's also a pretty big shock. He makes the PAT. Felder has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And this one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. Herbie, this is kind of fun to watch. You don't usually give defenses credit for a win, but that's what's going to happen here. Now, we're in an era of college football where it's always about the offense or the quarterback. This has been fun to watch a game where the defense has really asserted itself, and they've been the reason that this team has the lead. They went for it on fourth down on their last possession and weren't successful. Brad, this offense, the last time they were out there, went for it on fourth down and came up short. And I'm all for being aggressive. But I really think you've got to be smart when it comes to when to go for it on fourth down and when to punt and try to affect field position. Let's see if this offensive coordinator and play caller has learned from some of his mistakes in the past. Brought down at the 33. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He lets it fly. Can't connect. Pretty good effort here by the quarterback of trying to squeeze that ball into a tight spot. I know it was incomplete, but he didn't have too many other options. You don't need three guesses to figure out what they're going to run right here on fourth and short. And he's taken down around the 36-yard line. And he throws right away. That's a great tackle at the 45. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. And he throws it away. They're about four yards away here on third down. Strike to his receiver, no good. I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. It's intercepted, and that should do it. We're down to just a minute in this game. Stop your Mark four. We have less than a minute to go. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Forward to about the 30. That'll bring up 36. Mark 
Freeman's miserable day comes to an end. But, hey, the important part is they got the win. Yeah, you talk about a day to forget as far as his individual performance. But the big thing is this team was able to win the football game and able to overcome his off day. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.